I remember at Mar-a-Lago one time, the president was golfing, uh, and I remember getting a call from uh, the, the Situation Room saying that um, uh, there may be a nuke headed to Hawaii. <laughs> There's no scenario I can imagine that is worse than a nuclear weapon being fired at the United States, right? I mean, we ran over and interrupted his golf game and, um, and, uh, and, and, and told him what we knew. Uh, immediately kind of, you know, raised his blood pressure. And he said, well, you know, what do you mean? Is, it, is, is there a nuclear you know, weapon or isn't there not a nuclear weapon? And, uh, and I didn't have an answer. But I remember looking at the guy who always carries around the, the briefcase that has the nuclear codes and launch button. Uh, always by the president, that, that suitcase has never had to be, be open. And I just remember thinking, you know, could this be the time? It was an incredibly tense time, because North Korea was acting increasingly more belligerent. Their nuclear program uh, was growing. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself. We will have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea. And Donald Trump threatens to wipe North Korea off the map. And then he makes this, like, almost on a whim. I'll meet with the guy. And on June 12th, in Singapore, I'll be meeting with Kim Jong-un to pursue a future of peace and security for the world, for the whole world. North Korea has been an avowed enemy of the United States, you know, for a half century, more than a half century. So the idea that Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un would be having this meeting was just unthinkable. And the Pentagon's thinking, what, 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 what did he just say? I, I thought the whole thing was a big mistake. He had uh, an affinity for authoritarian leaders. And, uh, you know, he's a big guy, likes being with other big guys. They do big guy things. It was always worrying because in one of those conversations, there was always the risk he would just give something away gratuitously to show what a big guy he was. First time an American president meets the leader of North Korea, there's a lot at stake there. I traveled with him to Singapore. I could not believe what I was seeing with my own eyes. <laughs> I mean, and then, and then to see the two of them come together, it was mind blowing. I mean, it was showmanship of the highest order. All I can say is they want to make a deal. That's what I do. My whole life has been deals. I've done great at it. And I really believe a lot of great things can happen. This is Donald Trump sending a message to the political establishment at home and internationally that there's a new sheriff in town and the presidency was going to be show business. Expect the unexpected.